it's like nice to uh, have someone listening to you. Depending on what it was, like if I posted a music video, I'm like, ah, I failed to have bad taste in music. You're on there at like the moment somebody posts something really bad, and you, you can catch it. Uh, I feel awesome. I usually uh, judge a post by how many likes it gets. As cheesy as that is. I get shit all the time for not using Instagram. Mm. I don't want the world and his wife to know my business 24-7, and I certainly don't want old friends from the past suddenly appearing on my computer screen. I do feel connected to them. It's like someone complimenting you, um, which is something I try to do in real life, is compliment people. That's the, I think, the beauty of, of social media, I mm -hmm. think. Mm -hmm. But still won't persuade me to, to use it. So I try to do like a grown-up thing. I try to like check my emails. There's like Michaels or like some hookup site that I don't even use. But I don't think I'd just like pop a bottle of champagne and relax after that. I think it would be like an instigation for me to like, or motivation for me to keep doing whatever it is that I'm doing. And yeah. I feel like it hasn't been created yet, you know? I don't, I don't know what it is, and I, I hope that once it happens, it'll be the right thing. But something to do with dreams and love. Like, I did a painting about the, the comments of uh, Donald Trump about uh, Mexico, you know? Mm -hmm. And I would like, like, the painting that I post there are cause political. I, I have reactions and see people saying and asking, why you do that? Why you, you name it like this? Oh my God, finally people are listening to like all of the crazy shit that I'm saying and actually care about it. So I would probably feel like a minuscule, like immediate sense of like hope that, oh, like, cause usually I rant about like political stuff and stuff that I need to like channel through Facebook so that I'm not constantly doing it in public and <laughs> upsetting people. I mean, I heard, heard that from the young kids, you know, and, and some other thing. But I can't imagine what that does that AIM doesn't do, besides not allow people my age on there because they don't know what it is. I would be inescapable. You would see me everywhere, in both TV, radio, and all other forms of media. Yeah, in an ideal situation, I would hope that something about... Um, bringing the techniques of yoga to bodies that often feel excluded from it, bodies of different sizes and shapes, bodies of different ability, bodies of different genders, bodies of different, um, hi cat, cat bodies. You know, something you create, you never know if it's good or not. So it's a, you know, roll the dice, you know. Um, I guess you should put it on there to have some type of like archival type of deal or just like one attention. Of course, it's never really happened to me. How would I feel? I guess I'd feel terrific. Everybody likes to be liked. Everybody wants to be liked. Yeah, it felt amazing. I I don't even honestly know how people can handle that. Like, I follow some people that I know personally, and they have a thousand likes on their thing, and I I feel like at that point, it wouldn't even mean anything to you. <laughs> Um, I would feel great. Like, maybe I wouldn't have to worry anymore about money. But then I'd probably immediately realize that's not true. A piglet on a spit, roasted and eaten by friends and, you know, like a party. I mean, you think of Tunisia and you think about how their revolution, like the actually only like successful revolution that came out of the whole Arab Spring Occupy era. You know, obviously things are a shithole now because the powers that be want to like punish the only revolutionary state like they did to Haiti. Sometimes I want to people tell me more. Of course, I think this is the restriction of this. I like it or, or whatever, or the car. But um, I'm, I'm trying to use it as a business thing. Yeah, yeah, I would hope the content would be about, about, I guess, dreaming and I, maybe like more primarily just for people to understand that their nightmares aren't, aren't a bad thing and they don't have to avoid them. 
then again, I know it might be the start of a bad trend, you know, like maybe not, maybe there's like a progression that's not going to keep going, mm -hmm. you know. Then I could put a piece of anything on her, on her nose and she can stay still for more than 10 seconds until I clap my hands. And if you see that in slow motion, it's the most, I mean, it's brilliant. I think if any, if I could have anything go viral, it would be uh, like a, a band video or performance. That'd be cool. Uh, but yeah, I had it for a while and I would just post stupid things on it. Just like weird jokes and stuff. But when I look back at them, I, I can't even understand like why I was making that joke. It doesn't seem funny to me anymore. I would hope that, you know, a message about actually... Um, overthrowing the capitalist system that we have, you know, would be what goes viral. But then, of course, that's just a process of it being, you know, subsumed within the capitalist mechanism itself. So, you know. I use it, but it's mostly for things that I just noticed or want to bring to light. Um, haven't really taken it to that next level where it's sort of a branding thing or anything like that you know you got one shot to uh you know have a show maybe it might be 30 days maybe two months you know so uh to get that little spark for people to have some interest or just you know they might have interest they might have a friend that might like that stuff so whatever you're doing so you never know it might help out trickle effect why should it be liked by somebody i don't know i don't think i've ever had anything go viral beyond my my social group that I know in my actual embodied life. No, and I think it would drive me crazy. I think to be talked about by complete strangers all over the world is, I mean, that's really scary. I feel um, like I'm making a little connection mm -hmm. and I feel good. The internet's wacky, it might be popping in like some small town in Australia or something, I don't know. <laughs>